I want to show you how you can program text for each of those um, programs. Um, what I'm going to use for uh, this example is I'm going to use the file that uh, we use um, here at TipTop for um, making our uh, bat filter. And, um, excuse me, not the bat filter, the dragonfly delay, because this is one that you guys are very familiar with. So, um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Picket software. And uh, let's say load. Um, it can work uh, in parallel while the spin is open, so there's no problem. Okay, first thing to watch it says uh, Picket 2 found and connected. Next thing is we need to uh, find the device. Uh, so the device family we're going to use is EPROMs and the EPROM we're going to use is 25LC. Obviously all this stuff is going to be in the written manual but um, I just want to repeat it here. Then we select the part. The part on the uh, cartridge is the 25LC04A. That's the EPROM. Now as you can see it just gives you all those FFF means there's no file loaded into it. I'm going to go File, Import, hex and I'm just gonna go to the desktop and pick up the dragonfly dot hex file and click open immediately it shows you a lot of uh, stuff in here now if I go to the view and I said word ASCII it will also show you the text so you can see one um, mono delay time feedback now you basically create this file, uh, what we use right now is we use uh, some kind of sort of um, Excel file with some hex uh, to ASCII uh, macro and it helps us to create uh, those files. Obviously maybe in time some of the users will just create a, a tool for Windows that just makes it all much easier. Um, all that we need to do now is just to hit the right, so it's going to write to the card, verify and gives you the green screen sync programming successful. That means the card is not ready. So let's now take this card and remember it was a blank card. And we're just going to go into the ZDSP and look at the display. I'm going to plug it in and you're going to see that it says Dragon's Fly Delay by Tip Top Audio. It's the same text that we have on the other um, cards that we sell. And as you can see, text is now loaded to the cartridge. So again, a pretty simple way to uh, put text into the cartridges. Not very easy yet to um, create the text file, but um, it will probably get better in time. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you, thank you to Apogee for uh, hosting us here in this uh, beautiful studio. And thank you to Kevin Van Lupen for all his help.